John, uh, what a privilege to have the opportunity to speak to before the race and to see Frankie de Tori participate in another special part of history by dead heating in this great race and you're becoming the defending champion with a, a, a miraculous preparation. Yes, he, he got very ill last year and had a hideous throat infection and was, was, was in a poor state. But look, he came back and uh, we thought we, we can get one little prep race in at home and we ran him in the, what we call the Winter Derby. And he ran a great race to be second and the winner broke the track record and he's trained well into this, came back and, you know, he, he, he loves it here and he's thrived. We, we've been going out with the good filly Saffron Beach who finished uh, fourth in the race. But these Japanese, they are phenomenally tough horses and they're, they're trained really well and they're tough and they've got the pedigrees, they've been buying them for 30 years. And we have to be aware now. In the old days, we, we thought, well, that's not a problem now. We better respect them because they are kicking us for six. Well, I suppose competition is very healthy. I mean, when you when you take a look at the science that's involved and the, the excellence of their breeding operations and the passion of their fans, I mean, yeah. it's an all-encompassing business. It is, and I just wish our racing was part of the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries and that it was a tote monopoly and you could really re invest back into it. Sadly, ours is not. But the strength of their racing, the prize money they run for, it's just another league. But now they're really, really showing us what it's all about and what the quality of their horses and they they don't spare them I mean these are tough hard horses they're not they're not in any way uh, you know lily livered about how they train them they train them like the old-fashioned trainers that I used to know did we've all got a bit soft because our breed is not as tough as it used to be they might be in South Africa but a lot of what happened in northern Europe and America we started breeding horses for the sail ring and not for the race course and then we weren't culling enough we weren't being spartan enough in our rules and i think now i was talking to andre Fab about it earlier he was the greatest french trainer and we're both now in our 70s and uh, we're just saying that you know if we train horses like we're training as the guys can't take it and it is a big problem for us but the japanese are telling us a little bit how it should be done finally john um, this operation that you've got with your son able to stand on the stage and receive the trophy and you're able to talk to the media, Matt Chapman, etc., etc. It's a, it's a wonderful arrangement and something that that augurs very well for the future, with you without any shadow of doubt, nowhere near the twilight of your life. Well, I hope not of life, but of training. Look, it's great working together. He's 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 bright. He he comes up with a lot of smart ideas that the old man's got a bit slow about. And there's no doubt that it's it's a pleasure. It's great they allowed us to do it. Obviously, it's done in Australia, but it's, it it wasn't ever done uh, here until recently and there's two or three others doing it now in partnership. It doesn't have to be a father and son or a father and daughter or a mother and son. Uh, well, but the point young is Matthew de Kock is doing it in Australia. Well, there you are. Very... And I think it's very healthy, you know, and uh, it's great. And then you've got to be wise enough to know when to come off the ticket and not be a nuisance and get in the way. <laughs> not be a Muhammad Ali. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. John, thank you so much for your time. And I know the horses are just about to leave the parade ring for the Shima. Yeah, and what a field it is. Some depth in this race. I don't think you'll see one as good as this till the Arc de Triomphe. No, absolutely. Okay. Thank Bye you, now. John. Very, very best. much appreciated.